workers and the kids. Any relief in sight? Now, the next few days stay well All above right. average for our high temperatures, but by the end of the week, it's almost like a repeat of last week Got where it. we cooled off Friday and into the weekend, and then we get another warming trend heading into next week. Looking at our Narragansett beach camera this morning, wide open. It was already jamming yesterday morning at this time. All right, now it's the highways that are busy as people head back to reality, back to work and school today. Under mostly sunny skies in Providence, our threat tracker today is elevated due to the high temperatures. We're going to be up near 90. It'll feel like the mid 90s with the heat index. Wednesday, we get a tiny break from the heat and humidity, only a slight slightly more comfortable day. Thursday, the humidity is very high again, and there may be another heat advisory issued. We also have the risk of a late day shower or thunderstorm. Looking outside right now, the observed low temperature so far in Providence is 74. It could be a record breaker. The warmest low temperature overnight, 71 degrees. The other temperature that we're watching for a record to beat is the record high temperature, which was 92 back in 1937. We came just two degrees shy of the record high yesterday when we hit 93. Today I'm looking at highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s. It's going to be a hot one in Cumberland. 79 right now feels like 82. It's 81 already this morning in Smithfield, and it feels like 86. 82 at Oakland Beach and Warren. Warwick and those temperatures in westerly right now running at 79 degrees. So heat advisory again today for most of us doesn't include East Bay of Rhode Island or Eastern Massachusetts because the winds turn and it'll keep the temperatures just a little bit cooler. Looking at our live Doppler radar, dry skies expected for today. Dew points are going to be high. Lower 70s this morning and sitting around 70 in the afternoon. Anytime those dew points are at 70 or greater, that feels very oppressive. Now they'll drop into the 60s tomorrow. It's not fall like, but it is an improvement once this cold front comes through. That front doesn't have any showers or storms with it. A few extra clouds by the end of the day today as it continues to press south and eastward. There's not a lot of activity uh, in terms of the cloud cover. Notice as the morning goes on and into the afternoon skies are still mostly sunny. The big story today, definitely the temperatures as we're going to see them warming up very quickly this afternoon. So looking at those highs today, upper 80s, Hope Valley, Wickford and Westerly at 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon. Winds making that turn to the east at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. 90 Burrowville and Woonsocket could see some low 90s. West Warwick, West Greenwich, East Providence, all with the potential to be sitting on either side and 90 degrees. We'll be well into the upper 80s in New Bedford, Taunton, Fall River, close to 90 degrees seekonk sitting at around 92 and as I mentioned that heat index low in mid 90s noontime heat index around 92 we're still there around 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon and the heat index dropping into the 80s as we head into this evening Looking at some patchy fog at our beaches uh, early this morning, that's already given way to mainly sunny skies. The air temperature around 83 at the shoreline. The water temperature is still warm at 72. Overnight tonight, we're going to actually cool down, running almost 8 to 10 degrees cooler than what you woke up to this morning. So that's the first place that you'll notice a little bit of a change. Now, we're still going to be about 10 degrees warmer than normal for our high temperature, going from some extra clouds in the night and early morning hours to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon, 82 at 5 o'clock in the evening. Thursday's dry most of the day, but it's still hot and humid, close to 90 with a shower or thunderstorm Thursday evening and night. And then you get into that relief. Friday's high in the upper 70s, Saturday and Sunday looking like a beautiful weekend right now. We've got the Pat's home opener, 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, looking great. We may get some of the moisture as the front comes in Monday from what's left of Gordon. That's that system that's making landfall in the Gulf Coast later today. We'll keep you up.